The little dog that followed Caravaggio ran around, and this is his body in his face. And when he was 23, he came to Rome. That's, that's the main Caravaggio uh, uh, ceiling is an oil and plaster painting. It is not a, a fresco. And he really didn't want to do it. But his mentor, Cardinal Francesco de Monte, asked him to because uh, that was his, he was an alchemist, he was an alchemista. And that was his alchemy room. And so, uh, as you can see, that everything is the foreshortened way in which he painted the figures. And, and uh, it was just amazing. And sometimes, uh, I go up there and I take my yoga mat and I do my yoga beneath the uh, Caravaggio because it's uh, very relaxing and I, I love it so much. I, I try and now, you know, knowing that um, I'll be leaving, I guess, uh, when that auction happens, um, then I, I, you know, I treasure every moment. I, I treasure every moment, every memory. I've been here 18 years living in this villa and I was the first person to ever open it to the public. When I was 16, my parents sent my sister and I here. I had just graduated from high school and she had just graduated from college. And we had a teacher going with us all over Europe, uh, showing us things. And you know, London was fine um, and Paris was exciting. But when I got to Rome, I thought, this is the most beautiful city I've ever seen. And then uh, we went to the Trevi Fountain and I took a coin and I said, Oh, I wish that, I, I hope I marry an Italian and live in Rome for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I was only 16. It took many decades before that happened. The American Academy Film is a the here, and he had his daughter here, and his granddaughter, who's in her 90s, come to come to Central Troy, Augustino Tassi with the frame, and here's Aurora bringing down. That was circular. Yes. Nature of life. Uh, for me, this represents uh, the happiest years of my life, and and you know it's been such a privilege. It's been my privilege to be here with my husband and to restore this house as much as we could within our means, and to invite people in and to to really. Um, you know, to make it come alive again. And, and it was very important because it was my husband's family. So I, I really wanted to do it, his heritage. And, uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, digitizing all of the archives and things like that. This was very important to me. Maybe because I did major in history, but I, I think history is so important to future generations. And I think to Italy too, I think this house is important for Italians. It shouldn't be made into a, an apartment uh, building or, or you know business, uh, it shouldn't. Quest'opera è un unicum perché è una pittura murale del Caravaggio che non ha fatto altre pitture morali, tutte le sue opere sono su tela. È un soggetto mitologico, anche questo è un po' un unicum, o quasi, perché rappresenta le tre divinità della mitologia greca che presiedono diciamo, al cielo, al mare e alla terra, e cioè Giove, Nettuno e Plutone che sono poi rappresentati in un modo molto vivido, con uno, uno scorcio audace. Quindi è una immagine da una parte rara, dall'altra di grandissimo pregio, perché è di un autore eccelso.
La scelta della tecnica ad olio sul muro probabilmente deriva da questo, che il Caravaggio non sapeva tecnicamente fare gli affreschi, che invece era la tecnica più usata a Roma e non solo a Roma. Forse perché quando studiò pittura da, da giovanissimo il suo maestro non, non dedicava particolare attenzione allo studio dell'affresco e chissà dipingere su tela ad olio non necessariamente sa dipingere ad affresco. Allora probabilmente scelse questa tecnica perché dipingendo ad olio aveva la possibilità di correggere in corso d'opera eventuali errori, cosa che nell'affresco non si può fare. E quando esaminiamo tante tele del Caravaggio, si vede oggi con i raggi X, eccetera, e le tecniche moderne, si vede che in effetti lui spesso mentre dipingeva cambiava idea, correggeva un po', sfruttando il fatto che l'olio è una tecnica che copre. Quindi se io dipinto qualcosa a olio e non va bene e ci ripasso sopra, non si vede più. Poi il Caravaggio non poteva prevedere che avremmo inventato i raggi X. Sembra 